Tropical forests exist for more than 100 million years. In Central America, they were home to at least 25 million people. These societies, they learn how to live with the forest, out of the forest, and preserving the forest. The idea of sustainability that we have today, it was practiced by these traditional populations for thousands of years. But then the Europeans came and they start cutting down the forest. They were not able to see value, economic value in the forest. And unfortunately, this is still the prevailing view even today. We have to start valuing a standing forest, not a cleared forest. No longer cutting down the trees, no longer only seeing timber, but seeing the standing forest and the products that the standing forest can generate. This is possible. Applied science, modern agronomy has all the solutions. We should exploit standing forest bioeconomy to generate thousands of new products with the standing forest. In the Amazon in particular, it's known perhaps 1,000 to 2,000 different products. However, they are used in very small scale, with small quantities. But there is one exception. It's called acai. Today, acai berry in the global markets, there are 35, 40 different products produced mostly in agroforestry systems in the tropical forests. It supports about 250,000 families in the Amazon. The profitability of a managed agroforestry system for acai is about $1,000 per year per hectare. Just to give a comparison, a very well-managed cattle ranch in the Amazon is $100 per hectare per year. Ten times more acai in agroforest systems. So acai brings back to the Amazon economy $1.6 billion a year. In a few years, it will be $2 billion to the Amazon economy. So I see with some optimism now that we could think of a completely different model of development in which the economic value of species diversity is the real value of the tropics. In 10 to 20 years, we could have a bioeconomy with the standing forest two, three times larger than the beef and the grain and the mineral economy of the Amazon of today. And that's true for all the global tropics.